Hello guys, welcome to another video. And in this video, you can expect that me and Gwen are actually going to another journey, which is going to be visiting Maldives. We are still asking ourselves if it's really worth to visit that place, if it's really that paradise in the earth, or if it's totally the opposite side of the coin. So let's see what's going to happen and how it's going to be. Right now, guys, we are like in the middle of our road trip to the final destination, currently in Poland, here in the gas station, when, where we are going to have a stop and then keep going on our way. And of course, there cannot be a road trip without the proper lunch. Currently, we are in Poland and going to eat. Yeah. Hungry. And here guys, <clears throat> we are finally in the airport in Krakow, going to find our flight and get into the plane. So the next update will be once when we are already in Maldives. And this time we are already out of the airport and for sure you are wondering why we did not enter the plane or why we did not stay in the airport. That's the surprise. And here is the place actually what we came for. It's called like a Poland Maldives. So obviously it's not the sea, it's just like a lake with so many people around. But still it looks pretty amazing. We are going down there to explore and also swim for a while so let's see how it will be the area around the lake is like pretty nice the pavements built around here ready yeah let's go cool. like currently we are still here in poland near the city krakow where this lake is situated and right now we are going to find the entrance to the lake. So guys, this area is called as Poland Maldives. It is surprising for me to see a lot of people and especially a lot of foreigners here. Mostly I've heard their English like British English. So I think most um, foreigners who are here are from Britain. Or Britain, I'm not sure how to pronounce it properly, but they're mm -hmm. British. This place is actually a limestone quarry which is very good for sunbathing and also swimming during summer. That is the reason why there are a lot of foreigners and a lot of people right now here. Because this area is famous in Krakow. Um, as we all know that Krakow is one of the oldest town in Poland. And I can see a lot of people here and I'm not sure if we can swim properly, but it's really nice. The water is crystal clear. But right now we are falling in line. As I told you, there are a lot of people. And now finally after 15 minutes, 20 minutes of waiting in line, we are finally inside. So let's... Let's find out what people are doing. <clears throat> As you could see, the shopping carts. <clears throat> I will explain everything. Here in this lake there is diving school and 
diving courses so people can come here and uh, study for diving and one of the part of those lessons is like people are diving and helping to the lake they are just picking up the trash from the bottom of the lake and then carrying it up and throwing it to the trash cans or rubbish bins right where it belongs so the lake can be clear clean and kept ready for people and right now Gwen is actually walking on the water but those are floating platforms which allows people to walk around this lake this whole lake is divided into separate pools which are pools for the kids then a little bit deeper pools pools for swimmers and then the free lake here for swimmers or people are riding the boats or rowing everything is here it's only Kuba who will swim so Kuba will jump I will not swim it's because I had trauma already taking a bath in the lake I got this swimmer's itch allergy and I still have it now up until up until now even if it's already three weeks ago so I don't want to swim it's only Kuba <laughs> Baby, do not please. Baby, I don't know what to say. Is it very deep? I guess. <laughs> Like right now, we are going to transfer to the other side of this swimming pools. I was in the water, the water is very cold, like but still very refreshing. Gwen changed her clothes. I changed my mind. Even if I have the swimmer's itch, I want to try the water. Gwen admitted it's really better to go to the water than just suffering on the ground. Is it good? Yes. Amazing. It's deeper here as well. But you can feel the ground. Yeah, it's like moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, as are those pools separated from each other with the different depth, there are this plastic ground. This one is actually 100. 20 centimeters deep but still is the one whole lake because here is this web and it's the only place which disconnects that deep lake from these pools Gwen was concerned that this water is different than that deep waters but actually it's one, one and the same water I really did not expect that many people here but it makes sense because this place is really nice and of course so many people want to come here spend the weekend afternoon by the water what both of us with Gwen don't understand that the entrance to this lake is actually free but still you have to wait in that line and you will have like a you will get like a blue paper bracelet but still you don't have to pay for that advance you are leaving they are going to cut that bracelet off <laughs> so that's really strange thing for us when also doesn't understand right now we are here looking for the place where to change and the amazing thing which is here the area about the lake there is like a building where you can take a shower where there is a CR everything is for free and which I really can give thumbs up like so many services and everything is for free everything is still kept wow. clean uh, right now we are already on our way 
back to our car coming home to check like it was quite nice experience today I really did not expect something like that can really exist it absolutely cannot exist in the Czech Republic where everything is charged <laughs> you are charged and not a little money especially for swimming pools and those private swimming pools like this public swimming pools I want to say and here in Poland like just two hours travel from Czech Republic you can find this lake which is kept in the nice and clean state everything is for free it's near the city Krakow so I'm surprised it was nice experience guys it's not questionable why there are a lot of people coming here from the hot temperature the water is very cold so I remember my experience in Greece that it was very hot but the water was cold it was nice it's very satisfying for us maybe Kuba wants to buy some ice cream at Lodi 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 ice cream so we got I got an ice cream coffee flavor and Kuba has mango flavor I'm sure you guys expected that it will be like a Maldives in Asia <laughs> but it was a Maldives in Europe, it's a low-budget Maldives. The trip was actually unplanned and I told Guba that I want to try that Polish Maldives since it's only two hours away from our house. It's like a beach but it's a low-key, like it's different um, lake. It's also different from the lakes I've been here in the Czech Republic and for me that's one of the most beautiful lakes I've ever been so you can also try visiting that guys and i promise that your trip will be worth it we will be uploading more exciting videos and i hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you so much for supporting see you again and bye